What's going on there, folks? Good evening. It's Earthmaster here on the live stream on this beautiful Thursday, June 30th, 2022 date. It is about 8.06 p.m. California time. Latest quake shows a 1.9 earthquake here along the, uh, looks like the big island of Hawaii. Seen a couple threes in the mix there in the Pacific earlier today. Let's go ahead and check out latest movement. See that 4.2 in the Gulf? Let's go ahead and check out latest activity here on the USGS map. Unfortunately, these guys are not showing that 4.2, and that's pretty important uh, for the West Coast uh, to be monitoring the fours here in the Gulf. But unfortunately, EM or the uh, USGS does not show that. We'll check out the EMSC model here in a little bit. Uh, looking at the USGS model, though, showing that 6.0. Originally came in at 6.1, downgrade to 5.9, then upgrade to 6.0 all over the place. Looks like they finally settled with a 6.0 magnitude earthquake that uh, struck around the Philippines earlier uh, this morning time frame. Since then, what have we got? A uh, little bit of uptick and movement up into the Alaska region and also around the uh, Caribbean plate here into portions of South America. Looks like right around the Columbia area getting in on a 4.2. This one pretty deep though into the mountain ranges here. I should say below the mountain ranges at 145 kilometers below this area for that 4.2. Also some further movement within the region, all pretty deep, uh, 111 kilometers for this 4.5 earlier, earlier. And a uh, little shallow movement here near Panama, 4.4 uh, at 10 kilometers. Some activity here around the Puerto Rico Trench kicking up. Looks like uh, most of it uh, appears to be uh, some twos, even a couple threes in there today. So things kind of ramping up a little bit. Uh, north here around San Juan area and also one right smack dab on the Puerto Rico Trench at 8.5 kilometers. Looking up here to the north, some activity off the coast of Guatemala with a 75 kilometer deep 4.2. Looking at the states here where we've seen some, uh, some somewhat unusual earthquake activity. Um, I was looking at an article put out by the, uh, the Weather Channel uh, for one of them. Uh, in regards to this earthquake activity and the, of course the geologists are stating uh, that it's nothing to worry about you know that earthquake swarms are uh, you know they do occur and that uh, you know they, they want people's anxiety to calm down and uh, I get it you know we, we definitely uh, we get swarms out here on occasion but uh, when we start getting up there in the three magnitude range uh, talking about three of them at least and quite a few other smaller quakes looking at 17 earthquakes here in the South Carolina region over the last seven days, uh, you start to wonder maybe what's going on here. Could this be leading to some bigger activity down here around the Charleston area where they had that uh, oh, pretty powerful 7.3 earthquake um, quite a while back, quite a few years back before my time. But uh, this whole area is definitely still pretty active in terms of, um, of earthquake activity. The USGS, uh, what's his name? Uh, Bohan, I believe it is. Uh, many earthquakes of similar magnitudes have occurred in the eastern U.S., but it's extremely rare for them to be foreshocks to much larger earthquakes. That what, that's what they state. So, it's according to the USGS. Uh, the reason why, they mentioned here, the reason why some of these smaller earthquakes are felt over a broader area uh, is, and I state here, Bohan, Bohan said, the rocks on the east coast transmit seismic shaking very well because they're cold and dense. That means that the current swarm is being felt by more people than similar small quakes might be in Oregon or California. All right, uh, either way, still some activity today in that area. The rest of the eastern part of the country looks pretty quiet. Nothing going on around the New Madrid zone. Getting a swarm of movement out around the Pecos, Texas area again with some twos out there in the desert. Not a whole lot going on up through Oklahoma. Some spotty activity through about Cedar, Utah South into uh, portions of um, uh, near Beaver. It looks like Beaver, Utah. Seen a couple small microquakes. Not a whole lot going on through Yellowstone. Looks like a couple spotty earthquakes up there and some general movement around the Washington area. Looking at California though, things kind of uh, Kind of kicking up a little bit here, looks like. I've got one earthquake on the, let's zoom in here. It looks like the 
2.4 near Hollister, California. This one uh, about 10 kilometers just off the San Andreas Fault into the, uh, it's kind of hard to tell. It's either the Sargent Fault Zone or the uh, Calaveras Fault Zone. One of the two here or possibly in between them. Looks like it might be on the Calaveras Fault. Uh, some other spotty microquake activity up and down the board there along the plate boundary. Some spotty activity around Long Valley Super Volcano, but it looks like the swarm for the most part has been dying off. Uh, just a couple small microquakes in that area today. And uh, of course, right around the Tonopah area, getting in on quite a few earthquakes, even a 3.9 that we've seen uh, earlier in that region. Southern California, the southern segment of the San Andreas Fault, little activity on the, uh, well, near the Cottonwood Mountains area. Nothing specifically, though. No swarms to take note here along the uh, Brawley Seismic Zone or the Imperial Fault. But, uh, of course, that 4.2 striking down here in the Gulf of California not showing up on this earthquake agency's website. Alaska has been one that's been definitely popping here, looking pretty active even the, in the 2.5 and above. It looks like 4.0 so far the largest near King Cove, Alaska. A lot of deeper movement. A lot of microquake activity ramping up in this area as well. Of course, a major player in producing some significant large earthquakes. Although today, just uh, quite a bit. Quite a bit of swarming going on throughout the whole region up there. Uh, the Big Island of Hawaii getting some activity out here around the Kilauea Volcano. Going to have to watch that pretty closely. Might see a little increase. You never know. Uh, and of course, southeast flank here looking pretty active over the course of 24 hours. A little spotty activity way up on the top of Mauna Loa, 1.5 and a 1.7. Pretty shallow crustal earthquakes up there on that volcano. Uh, aside from the Taiwan activity, just seen a couple scattered earthquakes throughout the Indonesia area. One way down here along the Antarctica uh, plate boundary here and the Southwest Indian Ridge. That was a 4.6, well south of the tip of South Africa. Not doing any damage out there, but a little bit of movement in that area of the world. Uh, checking out the Yellowstone seismographs here. Let's see if they got any earthquake activity kicking up. I haven't seen a whole lot here in the past couple of days. Just a maybe a handful of small, very small microquakes throughout the uh, course of the last 24 hours on the UTC time here. Nothing major though. Nothing significant. Uh, I do want to check out the uh, uh, fires out here. We got a couple big fires kicking up here. Uh, not near me, but south of me down here around Grass Valley. Uh, some pretty densely populated regions. Look at that. Kind of see the area that's been burned here. Not for sure on, uh, well, it looks like 20% containment, 904 acres as of 2.17 p.m. But I'm sure that's uh, burned more than that. There is quite a bit of beautiful uh, areas out there in very densely populated regions. So... Not good at all. Hopefully we don't have any major wind events kicking up here. Uh, let's see here. Well, just for fun, we'll check out, see if the uh, dust is still flowing at the... Uh, not flowing, but uh, I should say getting kicked up down there on the north flank of uh, Mount Shasta. Looks like the majority of these cameras now pointing away. Uh, looks like one of these here might... Uh, might be looking towards that region. Not quite, though. It's kind of pointed that way now, so really nothing specific to even look at the north side of Mount Shasta here um, in this from this uh, website. Alrighty, what else we got here, guys? Um, oh, yeah. Let's check out the EMSC model real quick and uh, kind of look at those earthquake or that earthquake activity in the Gulf of California region uh, where we did see that 4.2 this one coming in just a short time ago uh, looks like um, about 8 kilometer depth for this earthquake nothing uh, let's see here kind of it looks like this has been reviewed but I'm um, surprised USGS definitely not picking up on it either way uh, kind of kicking up there along the uh, plate boundary in the Gulf of California. Uh, Trimmer map tonight. Uh, let's check this out. Only eight epicenters here into the southern Oregon area, it looks like. 
and uh, that's kind of uh, not a big deal. We'll check out Mount Shasta volcanic seismicity seismograms here and see if we, Mount St. Helens, I should say, uh, in this area. Looks like one being reported today, a point one. Uh, yeah, a couple. Looks like a little small earthquake activity again over the course of the last couple hours and um, afternoon time frame. We'll see what they have on this previous UTC date graph. Yeah, there's a couple. Definitely a couple kicking up here. More than the point one. Definitely more than one earthquake. I, I've always said they only uh, show up or throw up here about one every one earthquake that every 50, maybe every 15 or 20 earthquakes that do take place here in this region. Why? I don't know. But uh, that's why I always try to show these uh, recorded graphs uh, to kind of show that there's definitely more than just one earthquake activity uh, occurring up there around Mount St. Helens. Let's see. Solar weather. I'm not going to make this a super long update tonight. I know the past couple of mine have been uh, around 30 minutes or so. Uh, let's see, not a whole lot going on on the sun's surface right now. We do have 30, uh, a couple of these sunspots here trying to develop. Looks like 3046, the newest one uh, around the eastern limb over here of the sun. 3045 kind of grown a little bit, but man, there's nothing really that I see that could even produce a sea flare. Uh, only a 25% chance of a sea flare from any of these uh, sunspots. Just not a whole lot at all. Uh, coronal hole activity got this one here that will be uh, rotating into view could be providing us with a little shot of some solar wind stream uh, flowing from the sun in the coming nights uh, probably be here in a, here in a three or four day period we'll see if this gets elevated or not uh, depending on if this holds up from that coronal hole aside from that things are just just kind of uh chilling right now kind of kind of easy speed way down there looks like around 350 below 350 so no major solar events to take note of um right now pretty quiet out there folks all right so uh what do we got we got less than 100 people uh to get to 75,000 subscribers so a lot of folks a lot of new subscribers here i do want to welcome all those folks and also a couple new member channel members have joined the uh the perks and the benefits of being a new uh, uh, a channel member. We'll do the uh, announcement on some names uh, probably tomorrow night or the next night. Always like to throw out the names of some new members. But uh, we're closing in on 75,000 subscribers here really soon. I have a feeling we're going to probably hit it um, sometime next month in the uh, July time frame. So uh, at 75,000, we will be doing a drawing for six lucky people and they will be winning some prizes. Uh, similar to how we did the 50,000 subscriber giveaway last year, uh, we, we had people comment on, on our video uh, that they wish to enter the drawing and uh, we wrote everyone's name down on a ticket, threw it all in a big, huge fishbowl and uh, performed the live drawing on air and announced those names and of course sent out some prizes to those people. Uh, but this time it's gonna be six people that uh, are gonna be getting some prizes. Uh, and that could include, that's going to include um, some uh, artifacts and stuff that we found from the um, oh, so tsunami area up in Oregon. Also, uh, a couple other items uh, include some Earthmaster merchandise and um, a couple other things there. So I think it's well worth it and it's all free. All you got to do is, uh, of course, when we mention the 75,000 subscriber giveaway, that video will be coming out after we hit the uh, 75k level which is very close like I mentioned very very close look at this trail of activity here now these are also the three showing up from the EMSC model here across the board very active along the middle America trench uh, over the last 24 hours up into portions of the uh, Gulf of California so that's a that's a big hot spot right now some movement um, Again, I really wish that the USGS would show more than the 4.0. They, they hardly show that. So uh, it's unfortunate, but uh, that's kind of why I do run here EMSC data and combined uh, USGS 4.0 and above. So 
two agencies out here is better than one because sometimes one is slower or faster than the other some you know sometimes they're way off on the magnitude or or the depth of the earthquake so i i just run both of them throw both of them up there and call it good and then uh, they'll sort it out but uh, either way um yeah just pretty active in that region today all right guys have a good night stay safe out there again uh, if you're not a subscriber make sure you subscribe help help us get to that 75k level soon like i mentioned i think we're at uh let me see what we're at currently here on my on my phone. We are at 74,929 subscribers. So we only need a a few more. It's possible we could hit 75,000 subscribers tomorrow. If not, for sure, uh, definitely be popping up sometime in the... Uh, in early part of July, so we'll have to see how it goes. But uh, either way, subscribe, guys. Get some uh, prizes going here real soon. Have a good night, everyone. Stay safe out there. And, uh, of course, always have an earthquake plan. That includes areas of the East Coast, even Colorado. If you're out there in Colorado, that's kind of earthquake country as well. Just got a lot of older faults out here along the eastern coast that, uh, not, that are not super active, but... Occasionally we get these events here that shows us and tells us that those ancient fault systems out here from previous um, plate areas and, and all the shuffling of the plates over the millions of years, uh, those fault systems are still active, those ancient ones. All right, guys, have a good night. Stay safe out there. We'll chat you a little bit later. Peace out, everyone.